This video shows two methods and ultimately the trick to expanding double brackets through a range of examples. Again, if you like the video, please, please do like it and also subscribe and share. Thank you very much. So, double brackets. There are two ways to expand double brackets. And the first way is called the grid method. I will then show you the shortcut way that will always work. So, with the grid method, we draw a two by two grid because there are two things in each of the brackets. And the first one's x and a five. The second bracket is an x and a three. And brackets in this case means multiply. And to work out the four answers that make up the answer sort of, we have to basically do four multiplications. So x times x is x squared. 5 times x is 5x, 3 times x is 3x, and the key thing here is 5 times 3, which is 15. We're multiplying to work out the four elements that go in there. And we then get an answer where we have to add together the four terms in the grid. So the final answer is we've got an x squared term, we have a 5x and we have a 3x. Now 5x plus 3x makes an 8x, and there's a 15 here, so plus 15. And that is the expanded form of those two brackets. Now the trick, if you like, or the golden rule, if you want to a shortcut, is the middle number, in this case, is just 5 plus 3, which is 8. So again, if you want a little shortcut, 5 plus 3 is 8 and 5 times 3 is 15. So when there's just an x in the brackets, the shortcut is you add to get the middle term and you multiply to get the third term. Okay, so the second one, we'll stick to the grid and also the shortcut because the grid helps you to visualize this. And by the way, the grid can also be called foil as well. I'll explain why in a moment. So. For the grid, in this case, and this can become very quick when you get good at this, x, 8, x, and minus 4. Now, the first terms, the x and the x, gives you an x squared. So in FOIL, x times x is x squared. Okay, now, the bottom left, you've got to be very careful now, are the outer terms, x times minus 4, or minus 4 times x. You just do 4 times x is 4x, there's a negative there, so make it negative 4x. The inner terms, 8 and x, gives an 8x. Now be very careful. 8 times 4 is 32, so 8 times negative 4 is negative 32. Then to get the answer, we simplify, we have an x squared, now be very careful. 8 take away 4 is positive but it's positive 4x. And there's a negative 32 here. Now once again, the trick works because 8 take away 4 is 4 and 8 times negative 4 is negative 32. Okay, so the third one, when they're both negatives, you've got to be super careful here. And again, the grid helps you visualise, and that's the key thing for maths, to visualise what's going on. Okay, so whether you use FOIL or GRID, whatever you want to call it, um, the first terms, x and x, gives me x squared. The outer terms, the x and the minus 4, gives me a minus 4x. The inner terms, x and minus 5, or x times minus 5, is just minus 5x. But the key term to get right is then this bottom right element, the last two terms. So. 5 times 4 is 20. We know that. But when you've got two negatives, when you times two negatives, they become positive. So minus 5 times minus 4 stays as positive 20. So the answer is x squared. Now, be careful now. Minus 5 take away 4 gets more negative. That's minus 9x. With a 20, therefore it's plus 20. The shortcut still works. Minus 5 take away 4 is minus 9, 
and minus 5 times minus 4 is positive 20. But the shortcut only works when it's just an x and an x in the bracket. OK, so the last two. Again, a reminder, please do like and subscribe and share the video. Now, a square always causes lots of problems. However, the key thing here is that what the square actually means. All it means is, is x plus 5 times x plus 5. Double bracket. And we'll use the shortcut for this one rather than the grid. So here's the shortcut. We get an x squared term. 5 plus 5 is 10. So the middle term is 10x. And 5 times 5 is 25. And that is the expanded form of x plus 5 all squared. Reminder, 5 plus 5 and 5 times 5. And people often get that one wrong, so really focus on that as a key skill. Now, for all the little tricks we did here, they only work when it's x and x. Now, when you've got numbers here, like 3x and 2x, you've got to be more careful. And my advice is, in the early stages with this, is to actually go through the method carefully. You can learn some shortcuts, but if I do the grid here, which again is just a way to represent foil in a nice, neat way, the first bracket is 3x and 4. The second bracket is 2x and a 3. However, when we expand this now, we must be super careful. Now, yes, x times x is x squared, but 3x times 2x is actually 6x squared. Then, 3 lots of 3x is 9x. 4 lots of 2x is 8x. And 4 times 3 is 12. So the answer becomes 6x squared, 9x plus 8x is 17x. There's a 12 down here, so it becomes 6x squared plus 7x plus 12. So the trick doesn't really work, but in terms of shortcuts, 4 times 2 is 8, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus 8 is 17. And the 4 times 3 is 12, that still does hold. So, this is how you expand double brackets. And the next video will look at factorising a range of double brackets.